Hey guys, it's Tiny here. Welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Let's Play series. I haven't done this in such a long time. I have been so busy with in real life things, but I will like to talk about that more in the video as we go on. But with that said, guys, let's get into today's episode. Okie dokie guys, as you can see I have made my way back to our sort of, I guess, cave home. And yes, there is no face cam on today's episode, that's because I'm not feeling the best as I have been up at around 3.40 pretty much every day for a while now. Because I, I've actually got myself a job, if I didn't speak about that in the last episode, then you guys know now. Um, but yeah, so that's been quite fun. Well, not really. Well, yeah, it's it's been good because like having a, a stable income of like any sort of money is really good. So yes, but it does affect everything else in your life. So it does affect how much streaming and how much YouTube I can do, which that, that honestly does suck. But you know what? Being an adult, that's what happens. Uh, we probably should make some torches as well. Uh, if you can't already tell, we are going to be exploring a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to go ahead and make a, a farm of some sort today as well. I really want to get in with farming and things like that. But I also think we need to find somewhere that's more interesting than all of this. Yeah. So we've obviously got our post... We've obviously got our post there to let us know where our house is. I do really just want to explore. I'm thinking we might head over into this this area over here, but I probably should be collecting some seeds and stuff for our farm. I don't think we've run into a village or anything yet. I I honestly cannot really remember, which is another thing that really does suck about being absent from Is it going nighttime? Really? Really? I'm gonna have to go back and sleep. Uh, but yeah, that is one thing that does suck about not being able to consistently upload and everything like that. But I'm so glad that you guys have stuck in there and you're still watching all the content and enjoying the series and everything like that. So like I was saying, I have actually got a job. Uh, it, it is casual, but I, it's basically full-time hours. I don't work like five days a week, but I do work really long shifts so some days I could I could work four hours and then other days I could work up to like 14 hours like it's it's pretty hectic in that sense but you know when when you're working and you have that that income that's coming all like ca constantly basically a constant income it is really good it's just it takes out a lot of time from your day which is the part that isn't fun and then I come home and, and as soon as I have free time, I have to do uni because I am studying three subjects at the moment. So that's full time uni. So my time is pretty limited recently. So today I've actually got a day off and tomorrow I have a day off. I've been studying all morning. It's only it's only 930 in the morning and I've already studied a week's worth of uni, which is pretty good. If I do say so myself, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good good at keeping on top of things when I know I need to but uh, it, it is it is hard to put aside the things you really really want to be doing instead of working and instead of doing uni so I'm hoping that you guys completely understand where I'm coming from and that's just that's just life sometimes life just gets in the way and uh, you have to do your best to actually juggle everything but I think, um, I think we're going to get on top of it eventually. You know, it's it's been about a month of full-time-ish work. It, it's super hard to say, like, what it is exactly, like, full-time-ish stuff. But uh, I currently work for a company that works for other companies, if that makes sense. So it's basically like, I wouldn't call it an agency or anything like that. Um, but it is it is a company that gets hired by other companies. Oh, a desert. Maybe we could build in the desert. That's super cool. And uh, we then, us employees of said company and then, I guess, other company, uh, we get sent out to do jobs. So I've recently been working in the retail, I guess, part of this job. And that's just been a lot of, um, a lot of supermarket work. Not 
the usual, uh, I guess, checkouts and things like that. But it is it has been the 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 back end, so the storeroom, um, you know, creating new shelves, mm. and it's it's pretty crazy. Like I I ended up my first few shifts ever. I actually went inside a brand new, brand spanking new coal supermarket. Mind you, I'm not hired by Coles. I'm hired by someone else. Uh, and it was like brand new. We had to like build all the shelves and like stick um, all the products and stuff on the shelves. And then we had to go and like place all the tickets and stuff. Like it does sound like pretty boring work, but honestly, it's a lot better than my other job that I had. I used to work at a 24 hour convenience store about, oh, I would say six months ago now. And that, that got pretty boring. It, it was good at the start. Um, the money was a little bit less than what I'm on now. So it, it had nothing to do with the money. Um, but it just, it, you worked completely alone. So that, that kind of added to, to the boredom, I guess. And, you know, when you're alone with your own thoughts, you kind of start to go a little bit insane. And because uh, you're in your own head, like, for multiple hours in a day. Like, I used to work Saturdays and Sundays about 10, 10 to 12 hours a day. Mind you, it was only weekend work, but it was still bloody hard on the head because you literally work alone. There's no one else that works with you. The only interaction you get is with customers and 90% of those that time, customers weren't too happy with you. <laughs> uh, and I don't know why, like, mind you, I did have a lot of really great regular customers that came in and, and, and stayed for a chat and stuff like that. It wasn't all bad, but you know, the things you do for money, I guess. And I'm assuming a lot of you guys that are a part of the channel and have subscribed for a while now, I think it's like 50-50 of you would actually have a full-time job or would be expected to because uh, I think like the majority of you guys are between 14 and 18 years old. So that's really cool. And then I think the next the next age group up is uh, 18 to 24 or something like that. Something similar like that. So that's really cool. You, it's it, I'm glad to know that the people that are watching my content are a similar age to me. So I, I hope you guys are kind of inspired by what I do on, on the channel. And I hope you guys give it a go yourselves. Like, give it a, give it a go. Give it a full go. Uh, but wh while I am here having having just a bit of a chat, it's, it's turned into a bit of a chatty episode. Um, a lot of you guys know that I have recently moved to Melbourne. We've been here for about... I would say nearly four months now, so that's really cool. And uh, we've we've just started exploring a bit of our a bit of Victoria. So a few weekends ago, we ended up going to the Twelve Apostles, but I have been updated. There is only eleven now. There is only eleven apostles, so <laughs> they're gonna have to go and change like all the signs and like all the cafes that are like named after the Twelve Apostles. Uh, but yeah, apparently the, the, the twelfth one, or one of the twelve ones, fell into the water. So that's, uh, that's not too good, like. <laughs> but besides that, it, it was a really cool experience uh, seeing just, just not, it's not even man-made. So natural structures that have been carved and formed over generations of just earth so to me that was just amazing to see natural uh natural like i don't even know how you can't even call it a build it's literally just natural like nature has literally formed these these massive sand rock things it when i was like looking at them it was uh it really looked like really hard sandstone like that's what i kind of compared it to and we've actually found ourselves is that the savannah over that way too? We've actually found ourselves a savannah, so that's super cool. I'm actually going to dig this down and hopefully get some saplings from this as well. Uh, but that'd be cool. But yeah, if you guys are ever interested in exploring Australia or anything like that, I would highly recommend um, the, the 12 Apostles. It, it was definitely a great experience. And I think we're going to go back sometime and uh, jump in one of the helicopters they have going because you can actually take a helicopter tour of the 12 apostles. It is quite expensive though, so uh, I wouldn't recommend it for everyone because obviously you can't just drop like 200 bucks on, 
on a flight. I am actually going to kill these sheep. I need to. Sorry, sheepers. I actually need to make a bed because it's probably going to go nighttime soon. And I didn't bring that bed with me, so... Yeah, probably not the smartest thing to do, but it's okay. We've got we've got enough food and stuff to last us, and I, I just really want to get some of these acacia saplings if it's gonna. Oh, we've got one, perfect. That's fine. Um, and I do see a village over there. That's really cool. But yeah, I think if I if we do go back and do that sort of thing, I am going to pay to actually jump up in the helicopter and have a massive tour of the whole side and everything like that. I think that would just be absolutely amazing. And uh, we actually, last weekend was a public holiday here in Victoria. I think it was Labor Day. So we decided to pack up the car and drive 10 hours back to um, the outback to see my partner's family. And, uh, well, parents, parents. And uh, that was really cool. That was, it, was, it was a good, really good weekend. And we've actually stumbled across a farm, a village, sorry. And that's really helpful because I was actually out here to farm anyways. Okay, let's plant this stuff. I don't know why I'm getting beetroot because I honestly... Beetroot's like one of the worst uh, resources. It literally does nothing for you. Uh, so seeds and that... Seeds, bread, like wheat, uh, carrots and... Oh, well, carrots are pretty bad too actually. Uh, I think I would mainly just eat um, potatoes. Is there anything in there? Oh, there's a dude in there. Are you going to trade? Oh, coal for an emerald. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go, buddy. Oh, an iron shovel. Eight iron. Damn, that's you have some really cool, really cool trades, if I uh, do say so myself. What about you? Okay, raw pork chop. Uh, is there a blacksmith here? I really don't think so. But we'll have to keep exploring this, this, uh, this village. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much me up to date with you guys now. So, <sighs> I've had a, a few, he a hectic month, I would say. Like, starting uni again and everything like that. And I'm also continuing to apply for, for work. I am considering working full-time and dropping back. Um, to just part-time uni. Like, I'm really, I'm at that point where I'm like, wh what do I want to do? Like, do I want to, do I want to work more to be able to save more? Or do I want to work less, get, like, my batch, um, not bachelor, my diploma and everything like that? Or, you know, like, I'm at that point where I'm like, what do I, what do I want to do? Like, what am I doing right now? That, that could be different or could be improved. So I don't know. I've got, I've got some uh, I've got some very big thinking to do over this next year or so. Um, but I'll be finished my diploma in September. I do believe if I continue at the rate I am. But I think we're going to pop down a bed. Have a bit of a sleep because it is night. And we don't want to die or our, we don't want our villagers to get killed. Uh, definitely not. And let me just make some more torches with that. Cool. But yeah, guys, I think I've brought everyone up to speed now. Um, let me know what you guys have been up to in the comment section down below. I really want to get back to doing this sort of stuff, like recording and streaming. So you can catch me live on Twitch. Um, I am currently trying to get a username change. I'm not too sure if it's going to be possible but I'm, I'm really I'm hanging out for it so fingers crossed we can get a name change and uh, yeah so head over to twitch.tv slash tiny games underscore and uh, I should be live as much as I can uh, I'm really trying to push that that side of content creation as as well as YouTube but I do I do really really love both types of content as you guys can probably tell but I'm gonna head off guys thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video here on the channel once again guys thank you so much make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy and have a good one guys see ya